Hey guys, Griffin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the invert style effect. So if you don't know what the invert style is, I'll show you something I did yesterday with the invert style. Uh, this is what it looks like with a bunch of effects on it. Obviously, it, it like alternates black and white, as you can see, and it gives it a really cool effect. So I'm going to be teaching how you how to do that. So what what you're going to do is just open like a black document, um, and then once you have that open, we're just going to make some white text. Use the Fawn uh, Levi Brush Regular. It looks really good for invert style banners. And if you don't have it, you can get it from defont.com or you can download my font pack that I uploaded and that'll have that in it. So once you have that, you're just gonna go to Adjustments down here and click Invert. And as you can see, that is the invert style effect. Then we're just gonna kind of randomize it and give it some stripes and stuff. I don't really know what to call it. But we're going to go to the rectangular marquee tool right here. Then we're just going to make some random selections on the header. And then hold shift to make multiple selections. And yeah, just do some random, random stuff. Then once you have your selections, you're going to click delete on your keyboard. And it randomizes it. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some effects using magic bullet looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge all of our layers. So select them, then control E. Then if you don't have magic bullet looks, go look at the tutorial I did on how to get it for free and you'll be able to get it. And once you have it, filter magic bullet looks. And then I already have some effects on it, but I'm just going to do it from scratch for you guys. So the first thing we're going to add is, let's see, lens, lens distortion. Um, we're going to give it like a bulge effect, kind of like opposite bulge. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, then we're going to add some anamorphic flare. Then size like 23% about. Then that looks cool. Um, now we're going to add some haze and flare, put the color to blue, then spillage, like just turn all these up, um, yeah it looks cool. Then turn down the reflection exposure and the exposure to like, yeah that's good. Okay so now we're going to add some Let's see, let's just find it. Let's add diffusion. So go to matte, then diffusion. Then turn the size down. Yeah, that's cool. And turn the grade down. Yeah, okay, that's good. Gives it a glow effect. And then we're gonna add some light flex. Just gives it like another color overlay. Put it to like a kind of a whitish blue, if you know what I mean. Then turn the exposure compensation. Oh wait, no, no, no. We're gonna. Wait, how? Do... Oh yeah. Okay, turn the boost down to like. Put it to like a negative seven, and the exposure compensation to negative point three. And then we're gonna add a couple more effects. Uh, let's see. Just find a cool one. Oh yeah. Um, we're gonna add some chromatic aberration right here on post. Put it on post and then we're gonna put the blue slash yellow to like to, to around two I'd say and that gives it kind of a yellow and blue effect I really like it and then it looks pretty cool already now we're gonna add some let's see I think that's pretty much it you could add some swing tilt if you want um, I actually don't really use this that much so Actually, no, forget that. I don't even know how to use Swing Tilt yet. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Magic Bullet look, Looks effect. Um, hopefully you're, you learn a little bit about Magic Bullet Looks just from me doing that with you. Then go to Finish. Then just wait for it to load. <sighs> and then, yeah, your effects have now loaded and you have your invert style header. You can do this with an API and a banner too. I just decided to do a header this time. Uh, so yeah, that's how I do invert style. If you benefited from this tutorial, be sure to leave a like and comment on, and also comment 
what tutorial you'd like to see next. Um, and yeah, that's it for this tutorial, and I'm out. Peace.